Can we activate you now? What have I just done? Are you going to turn me into a big boy again? Have a look how big the map is. What's going to happen? There is Agro Zero. Where am I? What the fuck's making that noise? Oh! What's going on, God Zero Nation? This is our God Zero. Today we begin a brand new adventure, one that I've been so keen to dive into. We are playing Grounded. Now that takes two things I love and mashes them together. It takes the survival gaming Mom and genre. Dad are not gonna be happy about Look, this. Pete. Well, Pete, you always wanted to go on an adventure. Pete. You need to do yourself a favor. If we're going to work together and do this, you're going to need to shut the fuck up when I'm talking. Got it? Thank you. It takes the survival gaming genre, so similar to games like Ark Survival Evolved, Rust, Seven Days to Die, even Minecraft on some level, with having to manage your hunger, your thirst, your health, your stamina, base building, all that good stuff we've come to appreciate. And slamming it with that classic film, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. That's great! No, it's not that great. Why? I shrunk the kids. Because the location of this game, we are in a backyard. We've been shrunk down to size. And what's making that noise? Probably one of many bugs that wants to kill us in this backyard. However, this is kind of throwing me off here. God knows what's in that tube. Whatever it was, it was pumping stuff into the arms of five children by the looks of things only four of them are playable like to choose as as a character so the fifth one i'm not sure what's going on and this game is only in like game preview early access so there's still plenty of development to come for this game so i'm wondering whether there's going to be another character to play as or whether that's going to be like an antagonist of some kind oh have a look this is beautiful that's a big wow, ball. Look at the size of that Chunky Chubbs League approved baseball. Let's get up there. It's the size of my dang house. Let's get up there. That was this. Ooh, some sap. New crafting ideas. Torch. Beautiful. So it's got the same crafting mechanics that we've come to appreciate. Base building. Exploration. Speaking of hunting, I shrunk the kids. Look at that. Oh, hang on. There's a couple of them. Okay, so it says track the signal to its source, which is that way. But these pebbles are shining, and I'm assuming we can pick them up. Oh, hang on. Plant fiber. Beautiful. Oh, spree. Thank you. Can we collect these mushrooms? Oh, yes, we can. Stock up on that food, baby! Collect as much as we can early, so when it comes to having a look at the crafting, we can get stuff done. Oh, what the hell are you? An aphid. Raw aphid meat. Okay, we can get our get our munch on later. I've been looking at this game for quite some time. I was meaning to get some content out on day one release, but I've just been caught up doing some other things. But finally glad to be checking this out and you best believe when it does eventually hit that full release as well ladies and gentlemen we'll play through it all over again because as of this point in time the story only offers up until a certain point and i do believe the building mechanics um unlock certain buildable pieces like floors and staircases and stuff like that once we complete what the main story in this game preview offers so we do have to finish the main story to appreciate the full building experience for what it's worth well at least up until this point anyway but we're going to get all that done in good time don't you worry what we're going to do is well we're going to do the tutorial kind of missions in this particular episode we found a field station well logic dictates that there are probably more of these stations around Maybe okay keep searching i'll find some clues or some one Oh, so we can analyze. All right, so let's analyze the pebble.
Okay, we've got 20 raw science, whatever that is, and we can now make the Peblet Axe. Let's go for the Sprig. And then I think we'll do the Plant Fibers. I think those three would be the, the crucial three to start with. 20 raw science, and now we can make a Spiky Sprig and a Trail Marker. And what about this Plant Fiber right here? Another 20 raw science, and now we can make Woven Fiber. Next charge ETA, 9.15. So is that 9 minutes 15 seconds, or does it work off of in-game time up there? We'll, we'll, we'll soon find out, I suppose. But as I was saying... Ooh, hello! Can I hop on your back? Are you friendly? He's gonna run away. In Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, the ant was friendly, so I'm hoping the ants this time around are friendly as well. Ooh, hello, you got a friend! Oh, you got some food in your mouth! We need to find some more. Oh, there's a lot of ants coming this way. Hello, guys. I like how they're... Oh, they're all in uniform and they've all got food. That is awesome. I bet if we followed them, they'd take us to an ant hill. I don't want to do that yet, though. I feel like we're a little bit out of our depth. But as I was saying, I want to get some tools crafted. I want to do just a little bit of exploration in the way of doing some of the main mission. And tick off the tutorial missions. I think in the first episode, that'd be great. And then maybe when we return, we can look at maybe getting a... The fuck are you? I was saying, maybe we can get a, a something like a base or something built up. Even if it's only temporary. Look at the size of that thing. What in the fuck is it's that? probably the size of a... A bathroom scale? Something's been shot here. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh, is this going to make me a big boy again? Ow! Unblock the abstracted laser. Find whatever is weakening one of the lasers. Okay, so that one's getting weakened. That one's getting blocked by a... Blade of Grass. Which we need an axe for. Okay, so let's go to craft. Let's make some woven fibers, because it looks like we need it to make some of these items. Let's get ten of them going. Use up all the plant fibers. Let's go to tools. Okay, so we can get a peblet axe and a peblet hammer going. Ooh, we can make a sprig bow as well. Get some more gnat fuzz. I think we need to focus on Piblet Axe, Piblet Hammer, a Piblet Spear, and a Torch. I think if we get those out of the way, we set ourselves up alright. What do we need for this? We need plant fiber. What do we need for a torch? We need dry grass. Well, let's knock this grass down. Is that the one? That was the one. Okay, is this thing hanging up over here, dry grass? Is this... Are you dry grass? Well, let's fuck something up. Yeah. It is dry grass. And we need... Plant fiber. Okay, craft. We can now make ourselves a spear. We need one more sprig. Look at that. One just right here. And now we can make ourselves a torch. Alright, so let's put the rock back. We need to... I just accidentally dropped all those items. Okay. Beautiful. That's exactly what we want. Now what we need to do is we need to... Oh, hello. What the fuck are you? A weevil. We've got weevil nose and raw weevil meat. 
So we can eat the aphids and we can eat the weevils. An aphid honeydew. Okay. Ooh, some more sap. We need to kill the gnats because the gnat fuzz makes us the, uh... Makes us the bow. got some gnat meat as well. We've got to find what's weakening one of the lasers and... Ooh, this there's a droplet of water there. Can't reach it. I don't know what the aphid honeydew does, but we can go back and we can analyze it in our own time. Let's see if we can't move a little bit closer to this drop of water and drink it. Oh, well, first of all, let's hit six. Down, Pete. Oh, there we go. We've just eaten. Oh, come on. You've got to eat what we can, mate. We don't have anything to cook with at the moment, but we'll get some We'll get some good stuff going eventually. Water yes. Tablets needed. Wow. No, no. Don't, don't, don't kill the weevil before I can, because I need its meat. Thank you. Don't be greedy. I wonder what the sap's used for as well, because we've found plenty of that. But I think what we'll do is we'll march on off to that laser and see what's blocking it. And then we'll head back to that research little building over there and try to analyze some more things. I think that's the way to go. There are many bugs in this game I don't want to get involved with just yet. Spider's the main one. Stink bugs, cockroaches, ladybugs. There is a plethora of animals. Well, not animals, insects in this game that I uh, do not want to get near. You guys are eating that honeydew. I've got to be coming up here, it seems. Oh, hang on, there's a mite. Okay, mites are biting the cords. That's what's shortening it. Threat engaged. Oh, hang on. The mites... Oh, I pissed off some mites. Ow! A little stuck there, mate. Thank you. Them in the back. Oh, trying to creep up on Zira. Nice try. Take you out. I hope to Christ there isn't anything in here that can kill me. Like I know the mites can kill me, but I'm talking like a big ass spider or some Better pissed off starving. ants. Let there be light. Oh, thank God. I was wondering whether we could hold a torch and arm ourselves at the same time. Question answered. There is a mite right there. to see what we can do with this mite fuzz because I'm getting a lot of it. Okay, so we have unblocked what needs to be unblocked, but I'm curious to check out while we're in here. Whatever these slime molds are, I'm going to take them. Oh! What's up? We can make a repair tool? Okay. I'm assuming that's to fix our tools up. At any rate, we just pick all this quartzite up and we can go get some analyzer and we can work out whether it has any further uses. The hell's that? It's 
looks like that's all that's in here. That's okay, we wouldn't have gotten that quartzite if we had chosen to just turn around and get the hell out of here, so... We can now head back to that machine. See what the hell's going on with it. Put the torch out because we don't need it. I love how you can hear like the ambience of things in the background that, you know, aren't aren't seen. Like you can hear the dog barking, you can hear the birds chirping. It just sets the atmosphere up so well. I have a deep love for survival games, guys, so this is right in my wheelhouse. Should we try to kill that aphid? He's going to run. He ran. Okay, let's go see what we can do over here. What the hell? Oh, that's sick. We can make walls and doors with it? Oh, wow, well, 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 well. We'll get stuck into that a bit later. Come here. Can we activate you now? What have I just done? Are you going to turn me into a big boy again? Have a look how big the map is. What's going to happen? Oh, shit! Like, the map doesn't look big from that perspective, but when you're shrunk down to this size... That's huge. Investigate the explosion at the oak tree. Which direction is the oak tree? That way. Oh, hang on. What the hell is that? Is that a juice box? Is that dripping juice on the floor that I can drink? Oh, it does. That is awesome. Tropicot Puncho. I can dig that. And it does sustain my food levels a little bit as well, which is awesome. I don't want to head out that way just yet, because that's kind of in the unknown. And I have no idea what is out that way, because... I don't want to be, like, trekking into areas where spiders and shit could be when I'm not equipped for that. We don't have any armor. Oh, 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 where have I gone? I'm in a different... I was going to say biome. It is a different biome, I suppose, or dry grass. I don't want to be messing around in areas that I don't need to be messing around in just yet. I need my bearings. I've lost myself. Hang on, there's the, there's the tent. Found the tent! That's where we were heading anyway. Okay, beautiful. What do we want to analyze? Let's go the woven fiber. Can I make an eye patch, an acorn shovel? Definitely the quartzite. A do collector, okay, that's going to come in handy a lot. Um, and I'd say the sap, because we've got plenty of sap. A plant lamp, a workbench, and a sconce. Workbench is very handy, because we're going to need us one of them if we want to start uh, building our little base. Now, that's going to reset in a little bit of time, so what I want to do in the meantime is where did that blade of grass go because i want to analyze that just in case there's some other building pieces that we can make out of it thank you we need to start working out as well where we're going to place our first little starter base i'm actually thinking this area would be good maybe maybe i might check up there up on that ledge that that could uh definitely be something to get involved with now how long does it take for you to reset 16.07 and it's 15.45. Okay. So we've still got a little bit of ways to go. So let's do what I just said. Let's check up here. It's another dewdrop right there. Oh, dandelion. 
Hey guys, don't mind me. Care about your business. Weed? Level 2, so does that mean we can't chop it down? Yes, we need, we need a high... Oh, hang on. Build a lean to. Okay. We can't chop that one down yet either. We can chop a dandelion down though. Timber! What did that make? Oh, clover? Can we pick up the... Can we pick that up? Dandelion tough? No, we cannot. My inventory is full. Oh, we've got a dandelion tuft. A fluffy puff of dandelion stuff could be used to drift down from great heights. Can I put that in my glider slot? Hey! Okay. Okay. We're going to take the weed stem with us so we can get that done. We can now make a windowed wall, a scaffold, or a triangle scaffold. we got to try this gliding thing out as well. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? Do we have... We can analyze. Okay. Let's analyze the weed stem. Sturdy door stem wall and a windowed stem wall. Okay. See, that was handy to bring with us just yeah. to learn that. I want to get up there and I want to jump. Or even from a greater height. Is this flat enough up here? Oh yeah. I'm liking this spot right here. This is where we're going to build our first base, I think. Overlooking the machine. Flat enough, I suppose. How high can we get? Because... I really want to test out the power of this dandelion tuft. Oh, that's sick. Oh, that it's like Flick from A Bug's Life. That is awesome. Oh. Wow, just little things like that, man. Ah. We need to analyze the dry grass as well. Do we actually have any in our inventory? We can get rid of some of that. Trash that stack. Take some dry grass. Now, tutorial, it says we need to build a lean-to. So let's... If we're going to build something, I don't know what that is, but if we're building it, and this is going to be where... Oh, the meat spoils after a certain amount of time. That sucks. Does it tell you how long it has to spoil? Maybe it has some other use. Okay, so now we've got to get that sorted out as well. Let's build this lean-to. Craft. Utilities. Lean-to. Sleep to bypass the extra dangerous night time. We'll set a respawn point to return to it in an event of a death. Okay. Let's just put one down here then. Suppose just here's fine and we can we can build around it accordingly, I I suppose. We'll go here. Hold E to build. Aha! Beautiful. Can we sleep away? Let's set respawn point first. We can't sleep just yet. Do we have any charges left over here in the tent? We've got two charges. Okay, so let's go the dry grass. I 
A log pellet and a plank pellet? Can't do the spoiled meat. Actually, let's do the slime mold stalk. Slime mold sconce. Okay, some more lighting, so that's okay. That's fine. We're getting our science on. It's so good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if there was ever a time to end this episode, I think now's the perfect time to do it. We've got um, a little makeshift sleeping area here. When we return, we are going to gut this entire area out. I don't know whether that's the appropriate word to use, but we're going to clean this whole area out, make it all level ground, and all of these grass shards here, are, they're going to give us um, some grass to build with. And we're going to build ourselves our first little base, which I did mention at the top of the video, we're not going to be able to use all the building pieces straight away. So things like floors, things like stairs, we're not going to be able to use those until we finish the main story, which I'm supposing is got to do with investigating the oak tree and everything to do with that machine. But we'll get there in due time. It unfortunately means we just can't get involved with the scaffolding and that kind of stuff as well, but hey, there's still plenty of fun to be had. And we've only just begun to scratch the surface. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys are keen to join me on this adventure as well. Can we sleep yet? No, we cannot. If you did enjoy this and are keen to see more, do myself a favor. Hit that like button down below. It goes a long way to supporting the channel. And I can't thank you guys enough for all that support. And if you happen to be new to the channel... Why not go check out all the other content that's going down? You might find something else you enjoy. And on the chance that you do want to support the channel just that little bit more, hit that subscribe button. Join the God Zero Nation. One hell of a community of people. You will not regret it. In the description down below, you'll find links to my social media accounts, including my Discord server. If you haven't joined that yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and do it right now. I'm telling you, go do it. Hit that notification bell before you leave, so whenever YouTube does decide to give you a little notification, let you know what's going on. But that's it from me, guys. I'm out of here, and as always, I will catch you guys next time.